It was a little out of hand. It was a little Vegas. You guys, you guys are white. You guys been to Vegas, right? Right? Yeah, you don't have to be white to go to Vegas. No. Well, you, know, you don't have to be white, but I saw a lot of rednecks over there. I mean, no offense, but I saw a lot of rednecks over there. No lots of the doors. No. Okay. So apparently everything's legal in Vegas. I mean, I, I had a, a mirror and I was chopping out coke in the middle of the street. Nobody told me anything. So I, I was like, I had a mirror because I was looking at myself because I think I'm very pretty. So I had a mirror and I'm chopping my shit up like in the middle of the street, not giving a fuck because it's Vegas and nobody's going to arrest me, you know, because I'm not smoking weed. Like I had, a, I had a homie who was smoking weed. He got arrested. He got 10 years in prison. Five for smoking weed, five for being black. <laughs> so I'm chopping my shit up, right? And I took this big ass line. Like I took a, I, like that shit went straight through my brain and I think it came out of my back of my head. So I took that line and I'm walking to Vegas. Like I just took a humongous line of cocaine, right? And I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling bummed. You know, so I'm walking, I'm walking down the street with my tux and my bow tie, because I don't wear ties, I wear bow ties. That's what I do, I don't wear ties, I wear bow ties. Right? So I'm walking down the street, you know, feeling like feeling like a thousand million, million, hundred billion, trillion bucks. And this guy comes up to me, you know, and he's like, hey, 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 you got a, you got a white ring around your nose. And, and then he pulls out a, a, a straw, and he's like, can I snort that ring off your nose? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm looking at him like, oh yeah, yeah, go ahead, bro, sniff that shit. I'm generous with my drugs, very generous, I'm very generous. So that motherfucker sniffed the ring that I had on my nose, he sniffed it. But this is the thing though, after he sniffed that ring on, uh, on my nose, he stuck his fucking straw up my nose and he pulled out a big rock that I was saving for later. <laughs> you know? And that kind of pissed me off, but hey, whatever. It's Vegas. I'm generous. Go ahead. Have the fucking rock. Right? You know, in Vegas you could do anything. I was fucking an escort on a slot machine. Yeah, that shit was crazy. She was giving me head when I was playing blackjack. But she didn't give me no luck, man. I lost everything because I was not concentrating. I had 21 and I hit. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she had me out of whack. But you know what the worst part is? I had to pay that bitch. Because I took her from L.A. to Vegas. Right? So I had to pay her. I had to pay her. I paid her half when I took her over there. So I had to pay the other half when I got back. The problem is... I have a gambling problem because I have an addiction problem. Because you give me drugs, I'll take it. You give me a gambling whatever, I'll take it. You give me a bad bet, I'll take that. You know? So, by the time I had to pay her to come back to Los Angeles, I was broke as fuck. I had no money in my pocket. I had a fucking dollar just to snort my cocaine. <laughs> That's all I had. You know. So I snorted my cocaine. Luckily, I I still had half a Xanax, you know. So I slipped it in a drink and I told her, hey, um, let's have a little drink. You know, so we could have some mama sex because I, I put some stuff in the drink that you know. It's going to make us have some bomb ass sex. And she's an escort. And I go, I'm going to pay you 500 bucks. You know? Because I had 500 bucks. But I, did I really have fun? I had 500 bucks. But then I put it on one bed and I lost it instantly. Because the dealer always gets blackjack. For some reason. I don't know why. But I had no money to pay her. But she still blew me. So that was cool. So this is what I did. I poured a little Xanax in her drink. She fell asleep and I booked it. I don't know where she's at. I don't know what happened to her. But I'm sure she made a career in Vegas. <laughs> because Vegas is her type of city. She don't been escorts don't belong in LA. Escorts belong in Vegas. You guys agree with that? Right? Yes. 
yeah. Anybody want to be an escort or a prostitute over here? They take male prostitutes. You? You raise your hand? This guy? Oh, okay, okay. Anybody? Anybody want to pay for this guy? Anybody? Does he come with his phone? He comes with his phone, his hat, and his speedos. Right? So, I had no money to pay this bitch, so I booked it. I don't know what the fuck happened to her. I don't care. I look for her in back page, and she's in Las Vegas back page now. And I'm pretty sure she's making money. And I have friends in Vegas, so... Uh, she, she should thank me for being successful, you know? She should thank me. Yeah? You guys agree with that? Everybody agree with that? Great. Great? Yeah. Greatness? She ever lied what does that spell? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I did the spelling bee. I came in last. I couldn't even spell dick. No, I spelled cock. C O. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's my. Yeah, yeah. You, you learn. You learn as you go. <laughs> hey, thanks for giving me a joke that I'm gonna use next time. All right. No, but I'm going to forget because I'm fucked up. Yeah. So, yeah, Vegas is awesome because you could do anything, you know? And, uh, and I'm generous with my drugs, you know? I'm generous. So I'm chopping some shit up, and it's not coke, right? I'm chopping some shit up, and I'm generous with my fucking drugs. And this guy comes up to me, and he's like, hey, can I take a line of that? And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck you, man. Get your own fucking tweak. Fucking tweakers? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get my shit? Fuck those fools. You know? Get your own shit. You know, it's the nice shit I pay for it. I pay for it. I'm wearing a bow tie and a tux. A tux I fucking ripped. A tux, a tux I, I rented this tux. I didn't pay for it. I rented it. I rented it and I ripped it because I was jumping a fence because I was on drugs. <laughs> so I jumped this fence and I ripped my tux. But I had my grandma sew it. Right? I had my grandma sew it, and she's an expert because she's from El Salvador. You know? And she's been sewing her whole fucking life. So the guy, when I took my tux back, nobody noticed. So I didn't have to pay nothing. You know? I didn't have to pay no fee. Because nobody noticed. Sick. That motherfucker didn't notice. Sick. Motherfucker didn't notice. And I'm wearing a bow tie. <laughs> you know? Who the fuck wears a bow tie? You. Yeah, exactly. What did I do in the club? So I, I, I go in the club in Vegas, right? I'm in the club in Vegas, I'm fucking dancing. Somebody was like, hey, you want these moon rocks? And I'm like, what the fuck is a moon rock? The greatest drug ever. That's all I need. If somebody tells me it's the greatest drug ever, I'm taking that shit. But if it involves a needle, I'm going to have to um, clean that needle. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, yeah, this is moon rocks, take that shit. So I took the moon rocks, and I'm having the time of my life. The thing is, what the fuck is the time of my life? I'm, I'm on moon rocks, I don't know what the fuck happens. My pants are ripped, I'm jumping a fence. I think cops are chasing me, but I don't fucking know. I'm in Vegas, you know? I met a couple of friends. I don't remember them. I got a couple of phone numbers. But for all I know, they were trainees. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so, funny. Huh? That's not funny. Yeah, trainees yeah. isn't funny. Really? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's some things that are funny. There's some things that are not. But I'm going to say whatever the fuck I want because I got the mic and you don't. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever I say goes. Ready? Right? All right, man. So I'm in Vegas, right? And I'm doing every drug possible. Except, except that involve dirty needles because I don't, I, don't do, I don't fuck with dirty needles. You know? So if somebody gives me a drug in Vegas, I'm taking it. I'm fucking this girl on the slot machine. And I think I won like a thousand bucks, but I think she took it. 
because I don't know, I was banging her and I'm just horny and like I'm just, you know, my dick is out and the security's looking at me and they're trying to take, they're trying to take me out and I'm just on the slot machine like this, you know, and I'm like sitting down and she's just like fucking me and shit and I heard the fucking thing ring and I didn't give a fuck because she was fucking me. But I, at the end, I fucked her up because I left her, but I probably left her with more money than she came with. So, good for her. Good for her. You know? Good for her. And good for her, too. <laughs> good for that guy, too. Hey, your guitar playing was, was good, though. Thank you so much. No, your guitar playing was good. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed your Hunter S. Thompson, like, uh, if you're in Loathing in Las Vegas story. <laughs> oh, no, hey, half of that story is true, though. Half of it. Half of it. Which one you can or can't remember? Uh, probably the one, you know That's what, I, I don't remember. Exactly. Exactly. I did break my pants, though. <laughs> but, you know, my, my, my grandma's an uh, uh, immigrant, so she sold no. them. Right, El Salvador. Yeah, exactly. So, so. Hey, somebody told me I was Cambodian. And I'm like, Cambodian? What the fuck is that? Is that like some kind of soup? No, it's a tractor. A tractor trailer? No, it's just a tractor. It's camp. Oh, well, well, okay, well, I don't mean to offend you, but a red, redneck will know that. I'm a wet back. So I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Okay, so Cambodia is an African country, according to this guy? No. Accordion. Accordion? <laughs> You're a musician, I'm not. I, I could play this piano with my ass, it'll sound better than your guitar. No! <laughs> I, I challenge you to a duel. You challenge me to a duel? A duel. No, no. Put <laughs> <laughs> your ass down on that. No, no, no. Hey, don't challenge me to a duo, because I'm competitive. Hey, so you're competitive? Nobody can play a piano. Hey, don't plan on my accent. <laughs> don't plan on my accent. I got an accent. An accident? I, I've had plenty of ac accidents. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. We got a heckler in the house. We got a heckler in the house. <laughs> Woo! I, I love challenges. I love challenges. Unfortunately, you're not a comic, you're a musician. So you're a good musician. You're a great comic. Oh, thank you. Thank you. G-R-E-A-T. I don't have to sit on this fucking uh, piano anymore. No, don't. I, <laughs> yeah, because I'll probably fart in it. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah, yeah, I don't want to shit on this shit for the next okay. person. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right, All right you guys are welcome. <laughs> no. I love I love every single one of you guys, yeah. especially this guy, these these people over here. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, but thank thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Everybody, I uh, hope you got a good time being with us. All right, I love every one of you guys. I love some people more than. You. Others, <laughs> but I, yeah, I love pussy the most. <laughs> but thank you for giving me the chance. Hey, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good morning.